23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Bayan Wang. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Fresno County. Health officials there announcing their first confirmed case of the coronavirus. The Fresno County Department of Public Health website indicates that the confirmed case is travel related and not community acquired. Two travelers returning from a Grand Princess cruise on Friday went to health officials for testing, according to the department. One of the tests returned a presumptive positive case. The department's website says, quote, the family of this individual is self monitoring with FCPDH over site at this time. The department noted that there is no immediate threat to the general public. The department is not recommending any closures of events, schools or businesses for now. And earlier today, Madera County Department of Public Health officials confirmed the first known coronavirus case in the area. According to a press release by the Madera Department of Public Health, they began monitoring a couple returning from a princess cruise. The couple remained isolated in their Madera County home when one of them began to develop symptoms, according to officials. The person was taken to Madera Community Hospital for medical care and testing. Public health officials said the patient is in stable condition and this is an isolated case with a known source of transmission. Firefighters put out a vegetation fire that sparked in the Oildale area this afternoon. Multiple crews from the Kern County Fire Department responded to reports of a fire near Chester Avenue along a stretch of brush by the Kern River shortly after 1.30 p.m. After several hours of battling the fire, crews were able to put it out. KCFD has not released any information so far regarding the fire. And we saw much cooler temperatures today and they'll kind of stick around for the rest of the evening as well as those scattered showers and cloud cover. But for tomorrow, we will have clear conditioner conditions and we will be back to those seasonal temperatures. But another storm system is expected is expected to make its way through the region Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning. And that's going to bring some heavy rain and snow to our mountain and desert communities. But taking a look at the radar right now, we see most of those showers. Band of showers have moved out of our out of the way of Kern County, but still that low pressure system over uh, the Pacific Ocean, which is dominating, has brought those cooler temperatures and cloudy conditions compared to what we saw on Friday. We were where we were near record breaking heat but forecasted lows for tonight. We will be in the high 40s in the valley, 47 in Bakersfield, as well in Arvin, 40 in Lebec and 43 in Mojave and 27 in Fraser Park. Tomorrow we will we will be back to those seasonal temperatures in the 60s, high 60s, 69 in Bakersfield, 64 in Arvin, 45 in Fraser Park, 65 in Taft and 54 in Tehachapi. But as you plan for the week, you want to be aware of that heavy rain that's expected to come on Tuesday with 70% chance of rain on Tuesday afternoon. It will last until Wednesday morning. We will clear out by Thursday and tomorrow is uh, daylight saving time. So don't forget to move your clocks forward. And in our mountain communities, you will also see heavy rain on Tuesday. Fraser Park, you have an 80% chance of rain on Tuesday afternoon. We're still tracking uh, snow chances, but there, the National Weather Service is anticipating that to affect uh, areas of higher elevation. And for your top news and weather headlines, head to our website, turn to 23.com. Take care.